Hello everybody. Today we're going to see how I draw Valkyrie. So I'm going to start out with a quick sketch for myself. And you won't be able to see it right away, but I can. And it's just for me to make sure I've got everything where I want it to be. Because there's a lot of detail in this. And I want to make sure I get it all. Because it's really cool. They put a lot of design into these. And uh, that's why we like drawing them, right? So I want to make sure that we have everything here. Or at least enough, you know? Because we obviously can't draw everything. So uh, I just want to put in enough detail to make it fun, make it cool, right? Um, let's see. So this character is uh, super neat. Valkyrie, right? In case you didn't know how to pronounce it, that's how it's pronounced, Valkyrie. I know it's spelled kind of strange. So uh, you may not know, but that's how it's pronounced. Let's see. Right now I'm just basically getting some, some basic shapes and stuff in the right place. Uh, you know what? I'm going to have this hand up. Kind of a, a defiant fist. I like doing those a lot. Kind of showing her power, right? And also it's kind of neat because uh, I can draw certain parts that you wouldn't see normally because uh, the way uh, bodies are shaped and angled and facing sometimes we don't get to draw everything so uh, this is uh, it's nice to mix it up a little bit and uh, just put some stuff in there different shapes different angles different positions basically so uh, we can get everything in all right so let me just draw some legs here real fast and make sure I get everything in, which again is why I like to sketch it out because sometimes it'll fall off the page and I won't realize that because I can't see the screen and I see this in the end like you do. So I just want to make sure I get it all in there for you guys because again this one's really cool and even the shoes are cool, you know? So I want to make sure I get enough of it in there so we get everything. Okay, the body's done. Uh, I think I'll probably add some wings. Like that. And let's get some head details in there. So, she has those braids. She's got that cool... Uh, I don't know if it's a crown. I don't know what we're going to call it. But, uh, it kind of looks like a crown, right? Hmm. Do you think it's a crown? I think it's a crown. I'm going to call it a crown. Like that. Got to get ready for the braids. Bring that down. Get ready for the braids. And her hair going back like that. Uh, maybe some eyeballs, right? That might be important. Make sure I get those in for you guys. And right now I'm just going to block off some features of the face to make sure I get everything in there and make it look about right. Okay, I think I'm ready to switch over to the Sharpie so you can see what I'm doing because I've blocked off enough of the details that I'm ready to get started with uh, thicker drawings. So I'm going to switch over to some Sharpies. Uh, i got a Sharpie pen and a Sharpie fine point. So uh, let's start off with the Sharpie fine point so you can see what I'm doing and uh, follow along. So let's start off with some eyeballs. Let's do those almonds. That's what I like to do. Right? And uh, she has um, some detail in there that we're gonna get in with just a, a fine the fine little lines like this And then coloring will come back and, and take care of a lot of that later, too 
but I just want to do a couple of things like that. Almost like butterfly wings, right? Pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and do the uh, top of the nose um, crown thing, I guess is what this is. So I'm going to start with the nose right there. I know where that's going to be. I'm going to bring it up and over. There's a couple different levels to this, so it's going to be like that first. I'm going to come up to points on both ends. I like to do both ends, that way I don't forget something. And let's go ahead and draw that middle line down the middle, because that way it will tell me how high that's going to be. And so now I can draw the rest. I'm going to bring it down on the sides like this. And then I can loop it like that and connect it. And that's good for that. Um, there's a couple other levels, so we're going to do one more set kind of underneath it like that. If you don't have room, you don't have room. Don't panic. It's all right. It's okay. This is just what we're doing. And it comes down just a little bit more on the side here. You can't really see this one, so I'm just going to draw that. And this comes down on the side like that. Okay? So now I can draw some details of her nose, just tiny little details because you don't have to draw too much because all that's defining everything else. Let's draw a smile or a mouth, I guess. And then I'm going to do a top lip and a bottom lip like that. And so now I can draw in her chin, which I know is going to be about right there. And that'll give me uh, locations for everything else. So I can do the rest of her face out like this and up. So it's going to match there. And this one, I'm going to do the bottom jaw and up, okay? So I'm going to draw the jaw over and up like that. And it's a little off, but that's okay. This is how I draw. You draw how you draw. This is just what we do. So now I'm going to switch over to the other Sharpie. And it's a lot thicker. So I'm going to thicken some of these lines up just a little bit. If you're drawing with a pencil, you don't have to do this. But I'm doing it because I'm doing two different Sharpies, two different sizes. And it kind of makes certain points stand out more when it's thicker and thinner like this. And you're going to see what I'm talking about. As soon as I start with that other Sharpie, it's super, super thick. So it's going to make everything stand out. So I'm just going to try to sharpen or thicken these lines up just a little bit. So it'll match everything else, okay? All right, so here's the other Sharpie. So I'm gonna continue with her hair. Um, let's see, I want the, let's do the top of her hair and go all the way around like that, okay? So she's got like a little wispy piece coming out like this. And then uh, the rest of it's kind of flowing back like that. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of draw the outline then come back with the sharper sharpie and add some thinner lines and it's going to make things stand out more because it's thick versus thin so for now let's just go ahead and just draw the top of her hair and i'm going to kind of bring it around like this and i'm kind of following my my sketch so that's how i know how high i'm going to put it where i'm going to go so i'm just going to kind of do something like that because i'm going to do some lines in there so it's kind of an accented piece is what that is so i'm going to come down and do this and that's where her hair is going to be. That gives me a nice definition, okay? So now I'm going to do these braids. And I already sketched out where they are, so I know where they're going to be. So I'm just going to kind of do like this. And that's going to define my edge of where I'm going to be, right? So I'm going to, I'm going to bring it down like that for a braid. And then I'm going to do another one off of that. So what I do is once I define that, I'm going to bring it over here. And I'm going to touch it like that. And I've got the other one here, so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to uh, bring it like this and go like that. Then, so the same thing, I'm just going to keep doing that and just do stuff like this. See, so it's not terrible. It's not hard. You just got to kind of play around with it, right? But we're coming to the end here, so I'm going to uh, cap it off with a little... Uh, uh, end piece that's holding it all together and so I'm going to kind of do something over here too so again I'm going to uh, play with that I'm going to bring this down like this this piece is going to go like that and that's pretty much how you do braids it's not perfect it's just uh, braided hair because remember this is not a, a piece of, of machinery this is hair so it can kind of do all kinds of crazy things so again going to cap it off like that and then draw the end of it 
Okay, so that's the end of the hair. So now we can draw the rest of her. So now I know where her uh, neckline is. I can just do that for the neck and draw the rest of her uh, body here. So she's got like a feathery, uh, furry shoulder pad. So I'm going to go ahead and draw that. And basically, I'm just going to kind of do something like that. So I'm just going to kind of draw some, some, uh, some pointed tufts. And see how I'm just kind of making it up? So, you know, don't worry. Just draw what you want to draw. Now here, I've got the hand in the way, so I'm not going to draw all the way to the edge. I'm just going to kind of do the same thing. Draw some tufts. And I'm going to come back with the finer detail and do that again in a second. So let's draw the body into the arms. Okay, so uh, since I know where that's going to be, I'm going to go ahead and draw the chest piece here. So I know her arms right here and just follow it in to where her belt is going to be. Okay, same thing over here. I know where it's going to be, so I'm going to bring it to about right there. And now I can draw her uh, breast piece. Okay, so it is kind of like a, uh, almost like a Wonder Woman looking kind of thing. You know, it's just kind of uh, over her chest. And it's going to come down into points like this. And I'll do those in detail in a second. So I just want to define the shapes and then I'll come back and add some detail. So now I know where her hand's going to be. I'm going to have it kind of up like this. So I'm going to, this is going to be in the front, so I'm going to go ahead and draw this first. I know where this fist is going to be, so about right here, I'm going to draw the hand. So I'm going to draw the edge of it right here, into it like that, and that's where the pinky's going to come over, okay? And the pinky's going to come over like this, and there's already a knuckle. So we're, we're almost there. We're almost done. So I'm going to do the other fingers like that, like that. And this one's going to come all the way down. And that's pretty much the hand. So now I'm going to draw the... Uh, forearm which has all these spiky little things and so the spikes are in the forefront so I'm going to draw those first that way I don't draw over them and we'll just add one more like that and that's where the edge is going to be like that okay so that's the edge and I can draw the top of it like this and I stop there because there are these cool little like uh, um, I don't know what you're going to call them but uh the way it's held on, it's almost like these brass rings that are holding it all together. So I don't want to draw over them, so I'm just going to kind of come down and draw something like that. And that'll kind of define the brass rings, okay? So that'll be the edge. And so now that I have them in there, I'm not drawing over them. They kind of look like they are in the forefront. And I'll connect that like this, and that'll be the edge of the uh, um, wrist piece. Okay, so I'm kind of implying a lot of things. All right, so now that we have that, we can draw the rest of her arm because we know where everything's going to be. The forefront stuff is already done. So let's draw her elbow. I'm just going to come down like that and just bring it up to here. So I'm going to draw the arm into the elbow. And uh, she has the piece like that because that's uh, it's all worth covering it up. So I can draw the rest of her arm, which is covered up by the shoulder, so you don't have to draw much and come down and touch it there. That part's done. So let's move on to the next piece, or the next arm. And we're just going to come down from the shoulder into the arm into the uh, forearm piece like that. So the shoulder's pretty much covered, so we just got to just draw the arm into the forearm and stop right about there. So same thing, the inside, forearm, and stop right about there. So we're going to do just like we did over here. So I'm going to draw some of those spikes first because I want those to be in the front. And uh, we're going to go ahead and connect it like this and not draw through those spikes so it still looks like it's in the front. See? Pretty cool, right? And there's more than just that side. There's some on the back side that you can't see. So I'm going to go ahead and throw little ones in like that. And so, again, we're going to do those those uh, those pieces, that the copper pieces. That, that I call it copper, but I don't know what it is, really. The, the rings that are holding it together. Okay, and I'm just going to kind of flow to feel like that. That way I know where it is and I can draw without going through them like this. And it looks like now that those are in the forefront. Pretty cool, right? So now we've got to draw the other side of her hand. And same thing, we're just going to draw inside and not go through those rings. If you do, it's no big deal. You can always erase or don't worry about it. It's your drawing. You do what you do. You draw how you draw. This is how I draw. So I'm going to draw the other part like that. So it's coming down just a little bit. 
and oh yeah i'm gonna draw this real fast which is that part and then we can draw let's just make her another fist that's super easy so i'm gonna draw her thumb like this her finger with a t and the knuckle's gonna be about right there so i'm going to draw the finger down like that and there's the knuckles and there pretty much we're done um let's see let's move on to her belt the belt is the next piece that's in the front so i'm going to keep that like it is okay i'm going to draw that first so the belt has a couple of rings in the front so i'm going to kind of draw like that and that's just going to let me keep them in the front so again now we don't have to draw through them but it looks like it's in the uh uh, forefront okay so the belt is kind of like this let me draw through and now I could draw the other pieces I'm just gonna draw them hanging down like that and they've got these little triangles at the end this one doesn't have anything it's a little bit higher I'm just gonna draw like that and that'll take care of the other belt so now that those are in the front I could draw everything else and so I was gonna draw a little bit of her pelt coming over like this which is over this belt, see? And uh, there's a skull over here, so we're not gonna draw the belt all the way. We're gonna draw that skull too. But let's draw this little insignia thing that's over here. It's kind of a circle, a point, like that. And then we'll draw little loops inside like that. Okay, I don't know what it is, but it's pretty cool. So we're gonna draw it. So let's, since now we know where those edges are, we can finish off the belt like that and let's draw that that demon skull looking thing okay so we know that the the horns are going to be right here so i'm just gonna draw like this and that'll be the horn and then draw the back of the head and you're on the side as you're looking at it sideways that's why it doesn't quite look like it, it's supposed to if you're looking straight we're doing a side skull it's basically what we're doing so let's go ahead and draw that eye so we know where that's going to be and i'm going to draw like the mouth looking thing or the edge of uh, edge of it, and then draw the teeth. And so now I know I can draw the rest of it. So there, and there's the side of the skull-looking monster thing. So her um, skirt is uh, like a pelt of material again. So again, we're gonna just do some some whippy things like that, right? And uh, we're we're implying a lot of stuff. And I like to say that when I'm drawing, you can get away with a lot of implying, right? And what I'm doing is just basically just drawing some things and. No one can tell you you're wrong, you know? Well, it's not supposed to be like that. Well, I'm just drawing stuff. And look at that. I just implied the entire thing is made out of material. Or, or, uh, uh, fur, you know? So I'm gonna do one in the middle like that. And there you go. No one can ever say you're wrong, because you can't tell you that that's not how it looks. You don't know. So I'm gonna draw her legs like this, just a little bit, because they're only gonna go so far before the uh, rest of the stuff happens. By the rest of the stuff, I mean her legs. She's got these really cool pieces uh, down to her shoes. So these are pretty big and elaborate. We're going to start with a point right there and a point right there. And I'm gonna kind of come around like this and come down. And we'll go ahead and bring it to a point. We'll just do that, okay? Because there's more detail in there, but that's the basic rough shape. And this one is gonna go back behind her legs. See, you can't quite see this one. That's why I didn't. Uh, do it all the way, but this goes all the way back to hold her leg to hold it together like a boot, right? So this one I'm gonna do like this and again, we'll bring it to that point like that and look I didn't hit that point, but that's okay. We can cover that up. We can make it work um, These are just the basic shapes remember so we're just gonna do like this a couple So there look I made it work. I hid my mistake and uh, uh, We're gonna do one more just to extend it down because that's where her knees are going to be and now we could do those those cool little like icicle looking uh shards i don't know what these are but they're they're really cool and uh they're on her boots so we're just going to kind of do like this and there's no no right or wrong way to do it you just basically do that and you get the idea of what i'm doing right so you can't tell me i'm wrong you're not wrong either so let's draw the rest of her boot. I'm gonna come down, make a shape like that. Let's do one over here too. Come down, make a shape like that. And let's draw her feet. And she's got like these icicle protectors over her shoes. And 
you just kind of remember where the shoe shape is, which is why I sketched it out. So now I could just basically do something like this. And that, as long as I draw it in the, the, the edges of the shoe, we're implying that there's shoes and it's all going to work out. So now I know where the front of her foot is. So I'm going to draw like the ice that's at the bottom of it. Okay. And uh, it's kind of like her treads they're they're made of ice so that's why I'm just kind of doing something like this okay and then I'm going to draw the front of the foot like that same thing here we're just going to draw the front of the foot like that and now I can just connect them see pretty easy now we have shoes pretty easy so I'm gonna add a few more details oh wait actually let's do the wings real fast the wings are made of bones, so this is going to be a little tricky, but we can do it. So we're going to do one bone like that, and that's why I sketched it out, so I know how it's going to be. One bone like that, and I'm going to do another one about right there. Okay, so I'm going to kind of bring it in and do this. And uh, they've got points, so we'll do that. And then I'm going to do another one, kind of the same thing, like this. And one more, like that. And... Um, the other wings are pretty much the same thing, or the other parts of the wing are pretty much the same thing. So I'm just gonna kinda do like that. Okay, same thing here. Bones are like this. Bones are like that. And they look kind of like thin in the middle, thick on the edges. And that's the way you can make it look right. Or look like it's, it's a bone. Okay, and then do another one here. And I'm going to stop at the fist because it's back behind. You can't see everything. So I'm just going to kind of do like that. Okay. Don't forget the point there. Okay, so now I'm going to add a little bit of detail. And uh, show you what I was talking about. So now I'm going to come back and do some, some thin lines over the hair. And this is just to show that the hair is flying back, right? And so... You don't have to do these lines, and you don't have to do them exactly how I'm doing them. I'm just kind of showing that the hair is, is going back, you know, and that's uh, basically what I'm trying to do here. So um, after that, I'm just going to show a few little wisps of, uh, of material here. And this is, again, just to show that it is fur, you know, it doesn't have to be exact. You just kind of do what you like. And you don't have to do it exactly like me. You just kind of... I pick the points. See, I kind of like accent the points is what I do. And I find a point like that and accent it. And you start to figure it out and learn on your own and make it your own. And so pretty much when you draw it for your friends, they'll be like, hey, how did you do that? So, well, you know, I just... I, I made my own style because that's what you want to do is make your own style. There's a lot of detail in this, so we're not going to go too crazy. But I'm just trying to draw a few things. Like that. Let's draw another one here. That'll define where we're going to put a few things. So I can come out like this. Because there's a lot of detail, so I'm not going to confuse you with everything. I'm just going to draw a few things. Because there's a lot of uh, overlapping, ornate detail that is really cool. But uh, uh, unless you know how to do it, it's... It can get confusing sometimes because the way it was designed was overlapping, intertwined stuff, and and ooh, that gets crazy after a while. So we're just gonna make a few little things like that to give it the the impression of of uh, the the finer detail that's in it. And so, and I'm just gonna look over real fast, and I see I did miss a line right there. If you miss anything that didn't connect, just connect it, and you're good. See, super simple, super done. Now I've just got to draw the uh, wings. And I'm just going to do kind of uh, like jagged little, like this, just to give it, you know, again, style. You know, you make it your own. Do what you want. No one can tell you you're wrong, except maybe Fortnite. If they look at it and go, that's wrong, well, you know, they might be right. Um, so a few more details I'm going to do here. Let's do the chest piece. It kind of comes to a point like this. that and then there's a few more like this 
lines, lines, and that is Valkyrie. So here is my colored version. You could do it however you like. I just thought I'd show you how I decided to color it. If you'd like to color it like this, you can always pause the video here and use the coloring techniques that I used, or you can just make it your own. Remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures of how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button to be updated about each new video.